Good evening, viewers. Once again, welcome to The Balance. Now, today I have a very good news for you. You remember 2016, we started a program called Youth of the Month, Youth of the Year Award. This was a program that was meant for you to compete on national development. Interesting. Now, that's why we call it the DPP. When youths compete for national development, what will be the outcome? Development, progress, and prosperity. Now, let me take you back to what we did in 2017, the final between Sidi Laminba, Ibrahim Asabali, and Mustafa Ka happened right here on this ground when they compete for that wonderful award, the Youth of the Month, Youth of the Year Award. Let's go back and when we come back, I'll tell you more about this year event. The Balance, in partnership with the GRTS, brings to you the second edition of the Youth of the Month, Youth of the Year Award 2018. Our young people need to engage in um, to create the platform, the space for young people to compete for national development. The winner for 2017 Youth of the Year Award is... is... Sidi Laminba! To apply, pick up our forms on our Facebook page at the Balance Youth of the Year Award. Send your applications to thebalancegambia at gmail.com. Call us on 271 Zero seven zero one or three seven six two eight zero seven or follow us on Facebook at the Balance Youth of the Year Award or on YouTube at the Balance Gambia. Hi everyone, I'm Bensita Sofo Hisan, CEO of NTV Ghana. We are proud to associate with the Balance Youth of the Year Award 2018. My name is Arthur, I'm from Brazil. And Gambia, come and try to support this amazing project, the Youth of the Year. For national development, what will be the outcome? Development, progress and prosperity. The Balance Crew with the Youth of the Year Award program live on the national television, GRTS. Welcome back. Well, you've watched the trailer. The trailer is very interesting. You've seen so many things, so many activities happening. Now, it was not easy. It was a competition that was very tough between these three young people. Now, but how did they get there? Now, let me tell you what this program is all about because it's very technical. And much, many people will ask, is it just not an award where we just have a ceremony, people come and then you give them the award. I made it very clear. It's not just like that. These youths work for this award and it's not easy. If you think it's going to be easy, it's definitely not easy because there is a debate, a special debate we call the Dhaka Room debate. And there's a moment what we call visiting the villages. Now, remember, in this particular competition, even the villages contest, they're also part of the competition. That's why we have the Youth of the Year Award winner and also the Village of the Year Award winner. How? Now, I'll tell you the process of this program and then you will come to understand exactly what this program is all about. Let me take you through. Now, first, youths are nominated by friends or they apply by themselves. And once they apply it, or somebody nominated them, and they are lucky to be shortlisted based on three criteria. What have you done for your country? Discipline, which is very, very important, and your personal achievement in terms of uh, whether academic or business. We check all these three criteria, and then you are shortlisted. When you are shortlisted, what happened? Then you will now tell the public, you will give a project that will impress the public. 
and the judges will watch you and see how best, how visible this project is. And then you will be shortlisted probably, then you now became the winner of that particular month. Then you became the Youth of the Year Award winner for that particular month. And then you automatically qualify to contest for the Youth of the Year Award. Now, once you win the month award, that means you are qualified to contest for the year award. That's why we call it Youth of the Month, Youth of the Year Award. You win the Youth of the Month first before qualifying for the Youth of the Year Award. Now, once you qualify for the Youth of the Year Award, what happened? Then you go to the program proper. Then you will be allowed to have five technical you know, assistants that will definitely help you in your journey because the journey is not going to be easy. The first journey that you'll be having is we will select three constituents within the KMC, three villages within West Coast and other regions. Then you will now travel to these villages with your technical team. So normally what happens? We will all travel, all the three nominees that are you know, qualify for the Youth of the Year Award will now travel with their technical teams to the villages. Now, the village also compete. That's where it comes. Now, how the village welcome you with their culture, you know, and how they welcome you in style is also part of their competition. So they will now welcome you with style and now take you to their problems. They can take you to 10 problems, but you are only allowed to select one problem, one. And then you now be, have to be very careful because that's where the technicality is. Now, let's watch this when they travel to Yunlu and we come back. I'll show you how it happens. The villagers will welcome them, take them around to their problems. And then these nominees now will now look at these problems and say, this is the priority because the village is only allowed to select one, one project, one out of those problems that it gives you, one. So how will you know this is their priority? How will you know that the health, the hospital is their priority? How will you know the market is their priority? How will you know that the garden is their priority? Is to now go back, write a project, a very standard project, and now go back to the village again, where now they will welcome you to the Bantaba, and the Alkali, the councillor, the women representative, the youth representative will be the judges. They will now listen to your project. Then you explain to them. Let's watch this. When we come back, I'll continue right from there and I'll tell you what this program is about. <laughs> Bunda 
I can work to empower people. Remember my project, that's why I've, I removed myself from my presentation. I said we would work with the communities. I didn't say I would do this with, I would go here and get this. I said we would empower them. At the end of the day, what I want is for every community to be able to do something for yourself, even when I am not there. That's why I mentioned the issue of leadership. And most of these things I've mentioned are going to take place simultaneously. If you were to give, you know, a project title, you know, to Mboyo Phil, yeah. what title would you choose? You know, because in your presentation, you highlighted a lot of activities, you know, concerning the Mboyo Phil. So what would be the most fitting, you know, project title that you give to Mboyo Phil? I'm going to call it Youth Empowerment Project. Welcome back. <laughs> now, like I said, you see, that's how it happened. So these nominees that qualify, that win the Youth of the Month, automatically qualify for the Youth of the Year Award. They have work to do before they win the Youth of the Year Award because that's where the main program is. But then, you've seen, they traveled to the village and the villagers welcomed them with style. That's why I said that's where the villagers compete, how they welcome these nominees in style. Now. Out of the problems that the village gave you, they give you 10 problems and you are three in numbers. Probably they give you 15 or even seven problems or even six problems. Or probably even one problem or even three problems. Now, you have to prioritize, you have to understand whether if I select this particular problem and go and write project proposals and then present it to the village, it will be their priority. It will be something that they will love. Because the village is only allowed to select one project out of those problems the village gave. So therefore, you and your technical team have to be very careful when you are selecting the problems. Now, if you happen to select the problem of garden, therefore you have to now go back and write about garden. You know, write about a project that will now fit the village test. Once you now identify the problems, you now select one problem. You go back home with your technical team, you discuss and say, okay, you know what? I've seen the alkali is moving. That's why when the alkali is talking at the problem grounds, or when they are taking you around, when they are talking, you have to listen to their tone because there will be a person that they will reach, they will say this place means a lot to us, but still we don't have support in this. This, this problem has really disturbed our village, has really retarded our village. You need to be very careful, you need to listen carefully so that you will know that, okay, I heard the alkali say this is their priority, let's select this project. Now, if you happen to select that project, then you need to write a very good project proposal, excellent one that will fit the village test. And remember, if you are going there, most of the villagers cannot speak English. So you have to now write it. You have to have somebody who will now explain to them in the local language so that they will understand very well. Here, we don't need a hall. The critical judges will not come to this point because at this point in time, it's the villagers that will judge you based on what they want. So if you cannot give them what they want, they will reject your project. And once they reject your project, you lose a point. That's why the competition is very, very interesting. You have to convince the villagers to accept your project. Now, if you go there, three of you, you all select different projects or even the same project. Just be careful how you present it. Because if you present it, the villagers will also ask you question. They will criticize, they will ask, they will say, well, this project is not visible to us. I don't think this is our priority. We gave you 10 projects, you selected this one, and I, we're, we're not happy with it. Now, be careful, they have three buttons. If they give you the red button, that means they automatically reject you. If they give you the blue button, know that they don't want to make a choice right now. They are confused about your project. They still want to be convinced about your project. So that means they will throw you to the critical judge. Before you go to that critical judge, you have to wait for your, 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 your opponents. When they press the green button, that means they love your project, but that doesn't mean it's final. That means they, they accepted your project. So that means you don't need to go to the critical judge. So this is very interesting. So your next opponent will come and also present. Now, if they press, for example, you, they press the blue button. That means they are now telling you, we are confused, but we kind of love your project. But now we want you to go to the technical, that's what we call them, the critical judge. The technical judge, those with the expert. We have three judges that are critical. They are very ex they are expert in these things. They understand these things very well. Now the villagers will throw you there once they press the blue button. Now, if your next opponent comes and they press the green button, that one will not go to the critical job, but doesn't mean the project is final. So this, I'll continue explaining, but the interesting part of it is 
At the end of the program, the final day, the villagers will accept one project out of the three. And the one they accepted will win automatically five points. The remaining one will have each one one point. That's why you have to, you have to make sure that you win that you win the hearts of the village. You make sure that the village are convinced with your project, it will suit their test. And that is very, very important. Now, let me, that is just a summary. If you want to know more, we'll be telling you more about this program as we are going, because the program is just about to start. Let me remind you, the other side of the project is called the darker room debate. The darker room debate is a debate of its own, you know, we don't copy and paste, like I always said. We innovate new ideas and we test these ideas. So the darker room debate is a debate whereby you have to convince the government. Now, people come, sit down, they represent the government. Those are the expert judges. They will come on, because we have climate change judges, we have peace, we have migration. Now, this year, we'll have peace and migration. These are the only two we are going to have because our time is short and the, at the time the money was approved was very, very late. So that's why we are only going to have two debates. First debate that will happen before the final, and the last debate that will happen on the final day, that is the migration debate. But the peace debate is going to be very important for you guys to understand. That they are going to now present what peace is and how it is important. They are not going to create a strategy of a campaign and convince the judges that this strategy will work to convince the people to attain peace. Now, it is left to the ex expert judges, that's why we call them the government, to accept to say that this strategy is a good strategy to campaign so that to bring people together. So that debate is important. If you cannot convince them, they don't accept your project, you cannot win that particular debate. And if you don't win that debate, know that you're going to lose a point. At the initial pre premium, the presentation, the, the judges can give you each two, two, two points. But now winning the debate gives you five points, so you have to make sure you work hard for it. So this program is very, very interesting. The most interesting part is the critical judge. The 2017, we could not have it. Why? Because most, at that particular time, we don't have more time to bring the critical judge. But this year, there will be a critical judge. If you go to the village and they press the blue button, that means you have to visit the critical judge. Now, once you visit those critical judge, they will criticize you. They will criticize your presentation. They will now check whether your presentation fit the village. You have to defend yourself. If you don't defend yourself, because the villagers are convinced, they want to be convinced. If you don't defend yourself properly, they will reject your project automatically. And you will lose a point. You will lose five points. You don't want to lose five points. That's why when you read to the critical judge, prepare yourself. Because these people are expert. They know projects very well. Once you are presented, they will know whether this project is feasible or not feasible. And they will be criticizing you on these things. You have to defend yourself. If you don't defend yourself, Remember, the villagers are confused about your project, but it's not like they are not convinced, they're just confused. They want to be convinced so that they can accept your project. Now, let me ask you this question. If programs of such are happening and youths are convinced and they're competing for national development, what do you think will be the outcome? Let's go with that break and you watch more of what the Youth of the Year Award is. You watch the final and when we come back, I will tell you what the answer is. Let's give a round of applause to Mr. Mustafa Akka. And now I call C.D. Lamin Ba, participant 002. That is the arrival of C.D. Lamin Ba. Participant number 002. Allah baraka bake. Allah baraka. And now, I go straight to the third participant, Ibrahim Sabali 003. First, I will start with Mr. Mustafa Ka, participant 001. Welcome back. You've seen the final. Interesting. Now, let me tell you. Uh, very important. When you see a program of such magnitude in terms of innovation, you realize that this program is very unique. 
And when something is unique, it's original. It is now time for us to have original programs rather than copying and pasting. It won't tell well, it won't represent us. Because what others are doing, if what exactly that's what you are doing, then therefore people will not be interested. They want to see things that are new. And this particular program is new. The name might not be new, but the actual activities is definitely new and you cannot find it anywhere in this world. That I can bet you. Because the program itself involves a lot. It involves the village to compete and involves the youths to compete at the same time. That's why at the final, you've seen the village coming with their culture, displaying themselves, is because they want to win the village of the year. And to win the village of the year is how you welcome them at the initial stage when they come to find the problem, and how you welcome them when they come to present the solution, and how you now present yourself at the final in terms of your culture. So culture is very, very important, and I don't joke with it. So therefore, this program is itself is interesting and it will add a lot of value. Let me tell you one important of this program that you will definitely love. If these youths compete and they write a project, they give it to the village, like what happened last time. We couldn't have the fund, even to even give to the nominees, we couldn't even have that funding. We have to struggle very well. But thank God this year, the government comes up with the, with, with the, with the ideas through PIA, President International Scheme, and also, I have to thank National Youth Council Executive Director, Mr. Alaji Jaju. You know, all these people are working very hard to make sure that this program comes to life. Because last time when it happened in 2017, when they watched it, they've seen a lot in the program. But we want to even make it better. So this year, it might not be better because it comes very late when the fund, the fund was approved very late. But I'm telling you, let's do it this year. Next year, Gambia, let's support a unique idea that belongs to us, that is originally from us, and see what the world will say next. That's what I want to leave you with by closing this program. It's interesting, it's also important to have something that you own, something that is original. Like the music ST is doing and other young artists are doing, they are original music, fantastic music. You know, those are original, something we own, something we can sell outside, something we can tell outside, something outsiders can definitely be proud of and say it is originally from the Gambia. And this particular program is originally from the Gambia. I want to close by saying this. During those years that I've been struggling to get the funding to make sure that this happened, because I told you, without funding, this program cannot happen. It needs the fund to support the village to start those projects. It needs the fund to support the youth to start something that will motivate him. And it needs a fund to so make sure run the activities. And if you cannot have this, it, it will definitely not happen. But during the year, a lot of people came up with the ideas. Some wants to copy the ideas. Some already did copy the ideas. But let me tell you this. Stop copying and pasting because that's not what we do. We innovate and create and implement. That's what you're supposed to do. If you cannot do that, stop copying people's ideas. Thank you so much. The Balance in partnership with the GRTS brings to you the second edition of the Youth of the Month Youth of the Year Award 2017 Youth of the Year Award is is Sidi Lamin Bar. To apply, 
pick up our forms on our Facebook page at the Balance Youth of the Year Award. Send your applications to the Balance Gambia at gmail.com. Call us on 271-0701-0376-2807 or follow us on Facebook at the Balance Youth of the Year Award or on YouTube at the Balance Gambia. Hi everyone, I'm Bensita Sofo Hisan, CEO of NTV Ghana. We are proud to associate with the Balance Youth of the Year Award 2018. My name is Arthur, I'm from Brazil. And Gambia, come and try to support this amazing project, the Youth of the Year. For national development, what will be the outcome? Development, progress and prosperity. The Balance Crew with the Youth of the Year Award program live on the national television, GRTS.